how I became known as the Lipped Up Guy. This story takes place back in 2014. Man, those were the times, were they not? So I'm just over here minding my own business. I was making some YouTube skits here and there, and I guess somebody came up to me and noticed them. They were like, hey, do you wanna make a Lipped Up? My first question was, what even is a Lipped Up? So I looked it up and I was like, hmm, this is pretty interesting. I had only been making videos for about a year at this time, keep in mind. I did not have the proper equipment or the knowledge to make a video like this, but I said yes anyways. We really didn't even know where to start. So we just kind of started with the music. What kind of music would we like to hear in this? The main goal for this video was to raise money for Riley's Children's Hospital. And so I was like, you know what? Might as well try this out. It's not like this video is gonna go viral or anything, but Little did we know it went very viral. So back to the beginning, how did we start? We started with the music. Where could we find some music? Looked up mashups on YouTube. Okay, YouTube is, is, is honestly one of the most amazing things to ever be created because it has the answer to everything. So I don't know, back in the day, there's this thing called Pop, Pop Danthology. Dan he was amazing. He made mashups of all the songs of the year. So because it was 2014, we used their 2013 mashup. Now this was an absolute hit. I mean, it was amazing. Every single song was in there. Now I'm a sophomore in high school at this point. I don't know anybody. I don't talk to people. I was very shy and reserved at the time. All I really did was go to class and do my homework. That's it. And so the next task was to go and talk to people, seniors. We wanted seniors to be the lip dubbers, if that's a word. So we picked some people and gave them the lyrics to this song. No practice at all whatsoever. We literally just gave them the lyrics and said, stand here. Intermission, Hallie, what do you want these people to do? Like and subscribe. And make sure you also comment. So it comes to the day of in 2014 and I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, I don't know what's happening. I'm literally have a sock on my mic. I had no equipment. Let me tell, I had no equipment. I had just gotten a camera three days before the shoot. So I have no idea how to use this. This is the first time I ever had a DSLR. I don't know what ISO is. I don't know what shutter speed is. And I just pressed record. The entire school, making up over 2,000 students, had put faith in a sophomore student that had no experience at all to make this video. We go through round one. Absolute show. We went through this one time as a practice run. It was so bad, I was freaking out. I was, I didn't know what was going to happen, but we went in and did the second take. This was the final one take. Like there was no pauses, nothing. We went in and pressed record that second time. And this is what happened. All dressed up in black and white and you're dressed in that It turned out pretty amazing. There was a few, there was a few things here and there that didn't make sense, but I could tell that this was going to be something amazing. Now I take my ASUS $500 laptop and start editing and it keeps crashing. This video file is just too big for it. Another part of it was I was using Premiere. Premiere was really bad back then. Like it just kept crashing crashing all the time. I bet it still does, but I'm a Final Cut user now. So we're editing and editing, and then we get to the final product, and I press upload. And this is about 5 p.m. You know, I go home, I eat some dinner, I look at the video, 1,200 views. I had never gotten more than 20 views on my channel at the time, and I am absolutely freaking out. Press refresh, 2,000 views. Refresh, 10,000 views, and I am going crazy. At this point, my heart kind of dropped and I just didn't know what to expect when I went to school the next day. I stepped foot into the school and I'm like, this just, everyone's kind of staring at me and, and, and there's cameras certain places and I realized that the news stations have picked it up. For the next two weeks, I was on almost every single news station you can name. We were on our local news channels like Channel 4, Channel 5, Fox 59, and then we got picked up by ABC World News. Next, try not to smile. More than 2,000 high school kids on a mission to brighten your day. What they pull off is America Strong. Place Avon High School in Avon, Indiana. How did they bring it off? 
This was pretty much a one take thing. This was pretty much a one take thing. What, what was I saying? Now I know I've already told you this, but I was a sophomore. I didn't talk to people. I was very shy. This was not normal for me, okay? This 15 year old boy was scared out of his pants every time he got called out of class for an interview from the news station. At the time, I really didn't think this was a big deal. I just thought, wow, this video is going viral. And I didn't think anything of it. Little did I know this, this video changed my entire life. So now we're sitting at like 1.4 million views. It still gets like 2000 views a month. And I just, I don't know why it's not even that good, but I mean, everybody loved it. So then because everybody loved it back in 2014, I decided, yeah, I'm a senior, 2016 comes around and we make another one. Now this one, I had been making videos for four years now and I kind of knew how to use the camera and I come out of my shell a little bit. So I was expecting a lot from this video and we put our all into it. We built a team, we worked on it, we practiced multiple times and wanted to see what we could get out of it. I had learned a lot from last time. I mean, I didn't know anything about cameras or how to use them, mics, what, how was I gonna travel backwards? So the logistics behind this video, how did I travel backwards and keep the camera so still? Well, let me tell you, I was on a rolly chair with a weight stabilizer that I got off Amazon for 50 bucks. That sock I was talking about, the mic, I have a sock on my mic to make sure, you know, there's not too many air rumbling since I'm traveling through the air. And that was the whole setup. So in 2016, I still didn't have the money to buy the expensive equipment, so we did the same thing. I had the little stabilizer, I had my rolly chair, and it did the trick. We record the video, but this time we did it in separate takes. There was four different parts to the video, and we could retake if something went wrong, which something did go wrong, and we had to do a little bit of a retake within the time that we had. So it was a little more production based and we understood how are we going to get this to go viral. We asked everybody in the school to share and do whatever they can to get this video in the hands of those news people that we knew from before. So again, we got onto ABC World News and Fox and Friends, which were both national news stations and it really helped our video. <laughs> things like that that bring the school more together it's things like that that bring the school more together what did i learn english the hardest part was communication and getting all the students to work together as a whole was very difficult but it all worked out in the end our main goal was to promote our new event avon nightlight uh, which is a 5k community fair um, for hendrix regional health which is a local hospital prenatal and pediatric care all right, hello everybody. I've been taking a nap. I've been listening to SK2 do this video the whole time I've been on the couch. So here I am to contribute my thoughts to the lip dub. And so during the 2016 lip dub, at this time, we were dating. We were. So I was also just as much of a local celebrity. Well, not as much, okay, but people like knew I was a celebrity like SK2. I wasn't really a celebrity. <laughs> These two videos have given me opportunities that I would have never gotten otherwise. And I wanna make it clear, it wasn't just me, there were a team of us, especially one teacher, his name was Mr. Clark. He was amazing, he helped with the first video and the second video, definitely couldn't have done it without him and his support. Since that second one, uh, a lot of people didn't want to make a second lip dub because the first one was so successful. They were like, oh, if this one's so successful, then why would we make a second one? But we made it anyways, and it was very successful. Not as successful, but very successful. It's kind of the same as when they make a sequel to a movie. You know, you just can't beat the first one. So it's kind of like when they release Pink Panther 2, you know, like it's not as good as the first one. I also learned a lot from this video in terms of how can I organize 2,000 students? How can we make a production and make it successful all the way from planning, editing, and the final product? It's taught me a lot, and I've definitely taken those learnings onto my other projects that I've done. And one of the best parts about both these videos is that they raised so much money for either Riley's Children's Hospital or prenatal care. And you know, it just makes you feel good when you are raising money for a need like that. Overall, I couldn't be more grateful for Avon High School and everything that they've given me, especially letting me make those two lip dubs, even though I was 0% qualified. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Hallie overall, what'd you think about the two lip dubs? Well, you know, I think they're wonderful. Um, they, they're really cool. So K2 was able to be creative with them. I thought that was pretty cool. Fun fact, 
I'm in both of them. So when you watch them, make sure that you look for me because I'm a star. And um, yeah, you have no idea how many times kg has been recognized as the lip dub guy. And yeah, it's funny the first few times, like, oh, <laughs> he's a lip dub guy. But when it happens now, years later, <laughs> are you the lip dub guy? And you're like, oh, yeah, that's me. Oh, he loves it. He loves the- That's not true. That is not true. <laughs> 